these days, the easiest way to win a debate is to accuse your opponents of being out of touch. And the problem with Turnbull is that he is so out of touch. Politicians are out of touch. LNP, ALP, both par parties are out of touch. And no one is more out of touch than the ABC. <laughs> the ABC has such a tin ear. They're just so incredibly out of touch with mm. the public mood. Well, the ABC in Harris Street is really like a Roman tin mine. OK, with the pit ponies who have never actually seen daylight. Yeah, he just says what we're all thinking about pit ponies in ancient Roman tin mines. <laughs> and the ABC's problem is that it doesn't focus on real Australians, which is how we say white Australians when we can't. <laughs> Thankfully, the ABS is here to tell us who real Australians are. Eight months after the census debacle, which saw the website shut down as millions of Australians try to complete the survey, the early results are in. It shows a typical Australian is a 38-year-old woman of English ancestry. Joining us now is our Real Australia correspondent, Mel Buttle. <laughs> G'day, Mel. G'day. Mel, as the typical Australian late 30s woman of English ancestry, what concerns you about Australia? Sharia. <laughs> Right, you, you mean Sharia Law? No, my niece, Sharia, with two wives. <laughs> um, I keep catching her eating out of the dog's bowl. She's not right in the head. Right. OK. Um, so someone like me who works at the ABC, am I out of touch? Oh, yes. Yes, you are. Right, so why am I out of touch? OK, well, OK, it's not like you couldn't afford to go to the Adele concert, is it? No. You wouldn't have had to have driven in, cracked the window to have a bit of a listen, only to be moved on by some pen-pushing asshole from the council who's got astigmatism, <laughs> right? right? So he's there with his flat feet, moving me on. I'm not in a loading zone, champ. I pay my rights. I know my rights. Right. No. <laughs> oh, you would have been there, wouldn't you? Front row, little ABC publicity ticket, scrolling away on your phone. Ooh, the Guardian. <laughs> right, I, I actually didn't go to the to the Adele concert now. Oh, OK, all right. Well, next guest, you would have been at home, right, trying to get your little tweets up on Q&A. That would have been you, yeah? <laughs> With your big fridge. You'd have a big fridge full of fancy kinds of cheeses up. Must be nice just there, sipping on your latte like the rest of the ABC. OK, OK, <laughs> well, I'll stop you there. Like, lattes are everywhere. Lattes are in every single suburb in Australia. Everyone drinks lattes. Why, why, why the big deal about lattes? OK, all right. In real Australia, we do not sip lattes. Well, that, that doesn't make sense. It's a hot beverage. You're meant to sip it. How else am I meant to have it? Rectally? <laughs> What's wrong with how I sip a latte? Like, I just, I have the, I just sip it. Okay, I'll show you how I do it. Yeah. Want a demonstration? Okay. Got the latte, this yes. hand, right? Having a sip, little drink. And yes. with this hand over here, I'm making sure that I'm not voting for Adam Bant. <laughs> right. Okay, so, so who do real Australians vote for then? Okay, let me tell you a little true story about my dad, Barry Buttle. OK? Barry Buttle. Yes. <laughs> Barry Buttle. Yeah, Butso. Right. Yeah. So, but Dad... But Butso. Sure. To his Navy mates. Right, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they love coffee in the Navy. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Big, long-time sippers. So... <laughs> First-time dippers. Yeah, first time. <laughs> Yes. What he would do, right, in the 90s, he got very involved in Pauline Hanson. He handed out how to vote cards for her. Right. right? But that, he just... It wasn't political. He just wanted to belong to something because he got kicked out of the Rural Fire Brigade. Why did he get kicked out of the Rural had Fire Brigade? Had a big fight with Colin. Yeah, right. <laughs> so he's there plugging away for Pauline, who, as you know, was all concerned that would be swamped by Asians, yeah. right? And you... Oh, you're going to love this, right? His day job, he worked for a rice company. That rice company... <laughs> dealt primarily with selling rice to Chinese restaurants. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, Chinese people were literally putting food in my mouth and there's Dad handing out the flyers. Now... Right, and, and, and so he didn't get that? He didn't get that well, Chinese restaurant owners were Asians? <laughs> yes and no. Uh, right. Well, he was more... It wasn't as black and white. He was like, you know, the rest of them, they can rack off, they're pushy, but Teddy, Teddy's my best customer, he can stay. Right. <laughs> so, so what I'm hearing, though, is the more familiar your dad got with a group of people he didn't know very well, the more he was able to like them. Yeah. So do you think, now that you know the ABC a little better, you could maybe come to like the ABC? Well, now that I'm a big star on the ABC, um, <laughs> I 
feel you guys are starting to address a few more of my personal concerns. Right. Yes, yeah. Like, like Sharia. She's not right. They reckon she's dyslexic, but she's got no rash. <laughs> 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 Would you like to say, no, but 